Good afternoon, my name's Hippie Swift and today we're going to be taking a close look at this Snug Pack Osprey 12 sleeping bag. First of all, let's take a quick look at some of the specifications for this bag. Temperature rating of this, comfort down to minus 10 degrees Celsius. That's quite good, which is 14 Fahrenheit in American terms. It weighs 2,000 grams to 2 kilos. Hmm, doesn't feel that heavy to me, but the insulation in this bag is a softy premier filling, which is outsourced from a Swiss manufacturer. They make this insulation purely for snowpack alone. So without further ado, let's get out of the bag and take a look. So here we have the Snug Pack Osprey sleeping bag, rated down to minus 10 degrees Celsius. This is a good sized sleeping bag, as you can all see. Rated down to minus 10 degrees Celsius, this thing. So uh, yeah, I like this feature on the majority of the Snug Pack range. Little handle at the back. No issue at all with that. I really don't like using the side handle of most bags because you know it will pull out and rip and stuff. So let's puff that a little bit. Give it a little bit of loft in, inside the insulation there. First off, you can see it's got a nice big foot box here, nice and wide. And at the top, it's got a nice insulated hood. The insulation rating on here is down to minus 10 degrees Celsius. Through and through, four season here in the United Kingdom anyway. But yeah, a zip, nice easy zip down the side, nice thick baffle, nice thick one here though. Snug pack Swiss insulation, which is by the way softy premier insulation specifically made and designed for snug pack themselves. So uh, yeah, it's good to know that people are thinking, is there an inside pocket this? No, there's no inside pocket. Again, a good tip for not getting your zip caught. Just put your finger or thumb underneath the zip. Lovely job. There's even a double zip on these down the bottom. Here you go, the main feature, or one of, foot box. If you're wearing dirty socks or dirty feet or anything, even your shoes in extreme cases, this is an easier to wash material than the Paratex, Paratex Light which is great against your skin. This is a bit more of a harder wearing material right at the bottom. And it also keeps your feet nice and warm. There's lots of material and air cavity in that bit. Quickly close that up. You can see it's really starting to puff up now in, the, in this section. What I typically like to do is set everything up in advance, a couple of hours in advance of going to sleep. Give everything a nice chance to loft up a bit. The insulation on this is a Paratex steel plate on the outside, slightly water repellent, it's not waterproof by any means, but slightly water repellent, just to keep the light mist off you in early spring mornings, winter dew sets in, that type of thing. It does feature a nice insulated buff here, nice insulated collar, you go around your neck or your shoulders normally on me, and that has a stretchy toggle either side of that baffle, neck baffle just to tighten that up separately. And then once you've tightened that up, there's another neck baffle, the other side, for the main hood tightness. So uh, yeah, that's definitely a well thought out bag there. It's quite heavy. I think it's about just over a kilo, 1200 grams, I believe. Let's just check that. Oh, 2000 grams, it's two kilos. It doesn't feel that heavy, to be honest. And uh, yeah, that's pretty much it for this sleeping bag. At the top, I really love this hood. It's nice and deep, almost as deep as the foot box itself. So uh, yeah, you can uh, have a nice warm head. Because remember, it's not always a sleeping bag that fails when you get cold in night. It's normally that you're dehydrated or not wearing a hat, <laughs> which is often my case. So, so now I always wear a couple of Merino wool hats just to uh, keep my head and body warm. Now let's see if we can get it back in this bag because it's a beefy old sleeping bag and it's been out about six, seven minutes now, so it's got a lot of air in it. It's got a lot of air in it. Always remember to keep the zips and toggles inside, away from the outside, so you're not hurting yourself, damaging your equipment or 
Worst case scenario, you could catch on sun and rip through the outer waterproof skin of your sleeping bag cover, stuff sack rather. Right, so that's about there. That's about there, there you go. It's done. Me personally, it wasn't too bad getting that done up, was it? It wasn't that bad. <laughs> so there you have it. That is the Snug Pack Osprey Softy 12 insulated sleeping bag. Minus 10 people. You're not going to be cold, are you? If you like my review on the Osprey 12 sleeping bag from Snug Pack, then you can find more reviews over there and the adventures of going themselves over there. While you're at it, you might as well subscribe and click the bell and give it a thumbs up on your way down. Till next time, stay safe and I hope you find peace. In the woods!